What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now there are a ton of industry insider reports and rumors right now about the future of the MCU and what it looks like and a ton more to come in the next 6 to 12 months that should all be labeled as a bit too early. See just the last month Avengers 5 leading into a Secret Wars trilogy that we certainly wouldn't get until towards the end of the decade. The new report that there is a Mutants movie, the X-Men, in its earliest stages of pre-production that we certainly won't see any time on the big screen before 2025, and all the murmurs about what's going on with Spider-Man 4, given the conclusion and recently of Spider-Man No Way Home. But as we showed you all the way back in 2019, and specifically as it applies to Sony, back then we were talking about Sony's ultimate plan to bring all three Spider-Men together, and it didn't happen until almost two years later in 2021. Today's report, and coming from a trusted industry insider, has Sony's plans seeing the new Spider-Man Trinity reunited, and this time to face an opponent that, well, much, much different than the one we saw and Spider-Man No Way Home. We're breaking down this most recent industry insider report, who it's coming from, why we can trust it, and how it actually relates to a much earlier report coming from someone else. We're also talking about who this villain is and the timing of this report so interestingly as it crosses over in a major way to one Marvel film we're going to see this year. We're breaking it all down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We're giving away a PlayStation 5 now at every 20,000 subscribers, all the way up to a million, and we're going to easily hit the next one by month's end. So if you want to be entered to win, or if you like daily Marvel content, which is a side bonus because that's what we do here at the channel, consider hitting the sub button and leaving a comment down below. That automatically enters you for all our giveaways. And if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so the most recent report, and according to Daniel RPK, a trusted industry insider we followed here at the channel, is that the eventual plan is for Sony to develop a film that would see Toby and Andrew, also Tom Holland, all reunited again to face off against Null, the god of symbiotes. And one could argue, given the most recent footage of what we saw in the Venom Let There Be Carnage, that they've already seeded some Easter eggs in order for this to happen. Now, believe it or not, this was actually scooped originally in October of 2019. That's right back when the divide was going on between Sony and Disney and the rights for Spider-Man, coming from industry insider and friend of the channel, Mikey Sutton, also the lead editor over at his uh, editorial Geekosity magazine. This is what he said, quote, Planet of the Symbiotes, Marvel Studios, and Sony have discussed a spin-off based on the five-part Spider-Man story arc, Planet of the Symbiotes. It was also something that he had scooped regarding what's going on with the future of Secret Wars, and that this crossover, the Spider-Man trilogy, would eventually face off against Null. Basically this same scoop, but coming from years ago, and two totally different industry insiders. Now it's undeniable, as I've talked about in recent videos in the last couple of weeks, I believe strongly that Sony's main goal is to build out all of these solo villain films like the upcoming Morbius and or Kraven that we'll get both within the next year, add that to Venom and a couple of other solo villains and you have a very interesting modern Sinister Six. It could be that the plan is for the future of the Marvel Sony agreements and what's going on in the MCU, they plan to cross all of that over. But as we've pointed out, Morbius may exist in one of the parallel universes where a couple of the variants from each universe is canon. See the most recent trailer where they seem to imply not only Oscorp from the Andrew universe, but Venom from the now Venomverse, and of course Toby as well. There's been so many crossover points that if it is in its truly own corner, and they are going to reunite all these villains, the multiverse is going to be involved once again. Once you bring the multiverse back in, of course you can bring Toby and Andrew back together. Now I don't know if the ultimate plan is to have all three of them face this Sinister Six, but it's undoubted that you don't go ahead if you're Sony and build out solo movies for each one of these villains and in such close proximity and then not bring them all together. And that's why the tasteful move to leave a sixth villain out of Spider-Man No Way Home would leave an original Sinister Six whenever Tom Holland has to face off against them. That's probably what the plan is, is four through six for him while he's in college. But remember, the report has always been, again stemming back to that original agreement, that ultimately Sony and Marvel would like to see Tom do three full trilogies, the first of which has just been completed in Spider-Man No Way Home during high school, then one in college, and eventually one is him as adult. So there's still plenty of Tom Holland Spider-Man films to go to work this storyline in. But Planet of the Symbiotes, as he's indicating, had a lot to do with the turbulent relationship between Eddie and Brock. I think they've sort of hashed that out maybe a little bit more so in the most recent Venom Let There Be Carnage. And we know the symbiotes now crossed over for Tom Holland to interact with him. So I don't see exactly how they build to Noel and what capacity. Also remember that original report from Mikey Sutton, as I may have just mentioned, had something to do with the Secret Wars crossover. The Secret Wars crossover just won't go away, and I have no idea how Marvel and Sony would plan to work together 
on Spider-Man characters that's their property showing up in Marvel. Surely there's a way forward with that, and all things are possible now that we've seen Spider-Man No Way Home. But the craziest thing about this report, other than being as old as it is and tying to a Secret Wars implication as well, is the connection point in the unlikely way to an upcoming movie in Marvel Phase 4, Thor Love and Thunder, where we already know Christian Bale is playing Gore the God Butcher, and Gore the God Butcher wields something called the Necro Sword that was created by Null, the god of symbiotes. It seems as though Marvel now working with Sony this closely, and especially on Spider-Man property, is going to have something worked out if they look to uh, address this in any sort of comic book accurate way. And that's why I'm super excited to see Thor Love and Thunder. I don't think that Kevin Feige and co will want to change the origin of that sword. I think it's super important for the crossover point. Yeah, a little bit unlikely for what seems like it should be strictly in the Spider-Man universe related to Venom and Carnage, but Thor has always been a crossover point with Gore the God Butcher, and that Necro Sword goes on to do some crazy things in the future of the Marvel Universe. Thor actually uses it to banish Galactus. It's a crazy thing. I don't know if that's where they're going with this, but its introduction hopefully will have its original comic origin. That would lead to Null, God of the Symbiotes, which means once he's introduced, I could see it being an obvious connection point for what's going on with the Spider-Man trilogy and a really good reason to bring them back. I know I keep calling them the Spider-Man trilogy and I've got to stop that. It's more of a trinity. And the other thing is, is that there are several tri trilogies left for their movies, the ones that they've got. It's a Horrible, horrible, open-ended thing I've said probably a hundred times during this video, and I apologize. Guys, regardless, let me know all thoughts down below. Sony's definitely getting a little more ambitious now, and I would love to see Noel adapted on big screen. I don't know how that plays into Secret Wars, and I don't know how they bring these guys back and when as it relates to other Marvel properties, but hopefully they're going to do uh, Gore the God Butcher justice with the Necro Sword and explain that a little bit more in Thor, then we might have a clearer idea of how Sony plans to play it all out. Um, in the future of their films. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. Quickly, let's jump into the giveaway stuff again before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStations. Uh, we're doing it all the way up to a million subscribers. We're giving one away every 20,000, and we're already more than halfway to the next one. Uh, addressing the WhatsApp scammer that's been in the comments uh, uh, for the last four or five days, I believe um, I've addressed it um, with, uh, with some methods here. Um, but if you do see a comment that's claiming that you won a prize, um, go ahead and report that channel. We announce all winners here at the end of videos, um, and I subscribe to the winning channel. So uh, if you get a comment saying you won something, there's actually not a giveaway currently to win, just um, go ahead and flag that and report it. And if you wanna look for announcements for winners, they're actually happening in, in the videos at the end of the video like we're doing here. Um, so I apologize to anybody who's had to deal with that. I appreciate you all letting me know. I know you, a lot of you have DM'd me, I've tried to reply. There's been so many. Hopefully it's been addressed. Um, if not, I'll continue to fight against it. I love you guys. Take it easy. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. Uh, you can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, all original platforms under the name All Fires with some original music. Um, stick around. We'll be posting again real soon.